Hello everybody and welcome back to Theopolis. In this episode, we create overworld matter, prismarine automation, and a heavy sieve. We also go check out that big bone structure over in the distance. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today... We are going to continue using the smeltery to work on making organic or overworld matter. I thought it was organic matter, but it's overworld matter. This overworld matter is how we're going to start gathering all the different resources like iron and coal, lead, aluminium, redstone, lapis, and so on. So the higher tier the sieve you go, the more stuff you end up getting. So it would be in our best interest probably to get at least netherite. We're not getting that anytime today. Um, but yeah, we are going to start working on some sieving. So, uh, since last episode, our, I have now set up the other two block breakers, and they've been going quite well, except for the sand, is I've been using up a lot of it sieving. Um, but we've gotten plenty of smooth stone, and plenty of cobblestone, and the like. Um, these things have ran out again, I just replaced these, so that's annoying. But yeah, so now we actually have to work on better storage. I can't just keep dumping everything into these barrels, uh, just randomly. But whatever, uh, I've got more glass melted, but I want to see if we can get at least netherite, netherrack today, because if we can make netherrack and start crushing it and sieving it, I can make the glowstone, which then I can replace out, because I used the two glowstone I got from killing witches with our mini farm in there to do this, and I love it. Uh, it's completely see-through, there's absolutely nothing here, and it adds this glowing border, so nothing should be spawning here. So I've also used the factory blocks to make like an entrance, but I just realized this one actually needs to go back one level so that it's level with this wall and not having a, a protruding part of the wall. See, like this one's level as well. So I need at least an iron pickaxe to move this. So that's that. But actually, if we check here, I do have three iron. Where did it go? I know I have iron because all the saddles we've been getting, there it is. Uh, yeah, all the saddles we've been getting, I've been crushing down into their base components, and I've been getting tons of iron nuggets, so we've got ourselves iron ingots. Now, there's a pillager guy there, a skeleton with TNT, and another skeleton with TNT right here, and um, so I need to be careful of him up there. That's, as soon as I get the roof on here, I'll be feel much safer. I've also set up this system here, which is just the flopper and the water system, and collecting water into the barrel. All I have to do is put dust in here, and it makes me clay, which I have plenty of clay, which we're going to need now for today. So... Uh, let me tear this down because I actually don't need this for now. Uh, this is just getting in the way. Um, so what we can do is... Oh yeah, I also set up... Oh yeah, the terracotta. Um, if we go back to our chapter quests here. Uh, I've actually completed that one. But if we go to chapter 2. You can see I've actually completed everything except for the wooden crucible. So I've cooked up the fish. And I've cooked up this fish. Got the terracotta. All we need now is the wooden crucible. Actually, let's go quickly make that now. Wait, no first. I want to set up some overworld matter to be created. So, if we look at the liquid in here, uh, it says it is 500 millibuckets of organic water. Now, organic water can be anything melted down in a crucible or by smelting leaves or any kind of, like, organic material. So, if we were to put a leaf in here, how much does that make? It makes 20. So, how much do I have to put in... To make an entire uh, thing. So let me just grab like 9. Um, and see how much does 10 give. 10 should give 200. And if we need 500. 20 should give a total of 200 milli or 400 millibuckets. Um, so that should be 200. This should add 400. And what was it? 500? So we need something that would equal up to 100. So half of that. So by the looks of it. It is 25 leaves equal that yeah so 25 leaves equal one organic water or enough organic water to make overworld matter so we need to get one ingot of tin and one ingot of clay so we need to actually melt this break this down and we're going to put one of these in here and this will go in here and i'll make some tin so you know what i'm actually just going to chuck all the tin in and that will all just melt down we can always pour out the ingots if we have to i'm going to chuck in half the clay wait Tin isn't melting. Oh, no, it is. It was just not showing it. Um, but yeah, we actually got 20 blocks of organic overworld matter. 
Oh, damn. I didn't actually realize they gave that much. So, if that's 25, let's get another 25. And put 50 in. Um, yeah, so... Uh, oh, wait, turn this off. Uh, I have this lever here because now you can actually pull a lever. And it would also output. You no longer need to actually have it, like, tick time. So, I've just wasted a tiny bit of tin, but that's okay. Um, so, that's fine. So, overworld matters. So, you got 60 blocks in there. Uh, I'm going to chuck in just a ton. Of, I'm just going to chuck in all the leaves I can. And if we turn this on, this will output overworld matter, which we can then sieve to get ingredients. Oh my god, this is actually going to be kind of cool. Yeah, we still got four blocks of tin, three blocks of clay. So, I'm going to let everything dump out. But we got 130 something blocks of organic matter. That's actually really good. Right. So, if we head back in here. And we have a look here. So, we've done that. Let's work on a hopper uh, thing. So, we need to smelt up some clay. So, I'm just going to smelt this. Uh, I don't think I can... Wait, can I smelt it in here? Okay, yeah, that'd be better. Um, is there anything else I need to smelt at the moment? Oh, yeah, let's work in this wooden crucible. Right, so, we need terracotta. Uh, not terracotta. We need porcelain. So, give me all the clay. Give me all the dust. I think I've used up all my dust. So, we need to smelt... Uh, save more gravel. All right, that's enough brick for the, the pot. There we go. And we'll put that in there with this. That will make that. And then put it on top. That'll make... I think I have to actually craft this one first. And then craft it into a hopping bonsai pot. And that will complete the chapter. Nice. All right, so let's make ourselves seven of these. Oh, I made eight. And um, we need smooth stone. So let's go down here and get some. Uh, please don't be on fire. Smooth stone. Uh, oh my god, is that, having these block breakers is actually amazing. All right, slabs. And then make ourselves some barrels. I'll make a couple of barrels. You know, never know when we actually need more. Put that in there. With the porcelain makes a fire crucible. Put that in there, smelt it up. And then we just need to grab ourselves some logs. Um, damn, if I actually knew where I put anything, that'd be great. There we go, some logs. So grab this guy out, go in here. Put that in the center, surround it with logs. There we go, wooden crucible. That's this one done. Claim that, click this. And now we got the drawer controller and keys. That way we can actually set up auto sieving and have it all being stored in the drawers for the time being instead of having it getting piled up in chests. I think that'd actually be way better. So put our sea buck away and put all this stuff away because we actually have no use for it just yet. All right, perfect. Wait, let me give me out that bo hopper botany pot and we're actually gonna set up some trees to start growing. Do we have any dirt left over? I'm sure we do. Oh, wait, I just saw some there. There we go. So, if we come over here to our... Uh, let's grab the four stack drawer because uh, that guy should be able to hold everything because this will drop off apples and sticks then as well. So, if we put this here and put that in there with this. This takes one minute to grow and this will produce us a log, leaves, sticks, and an apple. Perfect. So, how much overworld amount have we jumped it out? Ooh, we need to get an entire stack to complete the next quest then as well. So you, you can see here, we need this. View dependencies, overworld matter. Oh, I actually need to hold it in my inventory first. Or not. You can see how it's blanked out, meaning we need to unlock it first. Oh, we need to get a tin ingot first. Okay, so that's what we need to do. Grab all this stuff. So we need to actually pour out some tin. Let me just pour out a block of tin. And then we'll continue pouring out overworld matter. Here we go. Block of tin. Unbreak that down. Got tin. Overworld matter. And now we just have to wait until we get ourselves an entire stack. So, next thing we need to do is get a ceramic bucket of seawater. A barrel on top of an overworld matter will make seawater. Oh, cool. Okay, so we just have to grab ourselves a wooden barrel, not a stone barrel. So, give me some wood... Um, can I use this wood? If I can use this wood, I am definitely going to use it up. I can. Okay, I need to use up this wood because I've got so much of it from doing all of the draining because I used oak. The, the way I had to drain this place, sponges alone were not enough. I had to section this area off into about 20 different pieces just to be able to get the, um, the water gone because every time I put a sponge down... It just insta-filled back in, and it was getting very, very annoying. So, we got our overworld matter. We got a full stack of it. That's perfect. 
And I'm going to set up the system right here. Does this stuff fall? No, it doesn't. Okay. So I am going to put this right in the corner. Like that. Put this on top. And now I just need to grab myself a bucket of water. Like so. Put that in here. And this will start converting into seawater. And then all I have to do is pick it back up in, the back, in this and it should work. Now, I think I have to put soul sand in... No, that's witch water. Um... Which one is it? Because I know to make obsidian... Oh yeah, that's a blast chiller. Wait, there was something I needed to use seawater for. Oh wait, you make witch water by putting this on obsidian, but to make rich water... Um... Wait, no. What am I thinking? What am I seeing you seawater for? Oh wait, seawater is used for making prismarine. That's what it was. So I need to set up a system creating me overworld matter going into a barrel of seawater and make prismarine because I need a lot of prismarine for making uh, prismarine lanterns because I definitely want to set up a lot more of those in the ground uh, instead of just having torches everywhere. At least that way it'll look a bit better. So is it this and in it? Yeah, yes. There we go. Prismarine. And as part of the challenges, I think I need an entire stack of uh, I need 32 sea lanterns. So that's going to take a lot, and I mean like a lot of grinding. So if we can get into logistical transporters, this should make it a bit easier. So if I can run a pipe from this barrel, uh, or just take this out and put it in another barrel, pumping it in this way, that could work. And I think if I set up the exact same system that I have here, over here, just with overworld matter, uh, I should be able to set this up relatively simply. So if I break this, I'm actually probably going to lose this if I'm not careful. Give me it back. No. Um, hopefully nothing's in here. I'm taking a risk here. Swim up. Um, okay, we have to deal with this guy now. There we go. Now he's dealt with. So jump down here and put this back. So if we were to get... The overworld matter right here. Okay. We get our barrel right here. And we're going to have to pump in water. So this is where the flopper is. I'm going to have to make a new flopper. And put our flopper right here. And then grab our trap doors. Um, I'm going to have to probably put down something to put the trap doors against. There we go. Uh, build up here. Oh, I need to put one more here just to stop the water from flowing out. Now we need to go actually get some water. So, grab me a ba bucket of this. That, uh, nope. Uh, I need to put another trap door right. Nope, not there. Right here. So, bucket, pick you up. Somehow. Oh, that's water logging that. Okay, hang on. So, come over here and put the next one down. I have to break these two, so. The bucket of water there. Now it starts gathering it up. I can close these and break this. And now what I can do is I can grab a hopper, put it in, and then I can grab the a stack of overworld matter, put this, the overworld matter in there, and whenever this converts to seawater, it will make prismarine. Only thing is now I can't actually take this out. I need to make the logistical transporters, but... I think I need to make iron before I can do that. So if we go down here to basic automation, you can see to actually do this, we need to make a bronze constantly nitro and cinnabar dust. That means we need to continue um, this chain here. So we need to make ourselves a bronze ingot, which is a mixture of tin and copper. So I have to go get my copper uh, ingots or my copper ore and my nickel ore because nickel and copper make constantine and I have to make up a bunch of this now. So, if we were to grab our tin, there we go, and put the tin in here. So, what's the actual recipe for bronze? Is it two copper, three copper to one tin? So, this makes two, so that will make four, and put this one in here. That'll make four, that'll make six, so two. There we go. This should make us three ingots, or maybe four ingots of bronze. Oh, never mind, eight ingots of bronze. But the only thing is now we have to pour it out as a cast. Uh, unless I put in another ingot and two of these. 
just to add it up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put another one of these in and a nickel because I still need to make Constantine then as well. One of the other quests it requires is me to make 64 sand plates. So if I put these in here and make, I didn't mean to take all of it into that. Um, but this should work as casting out an ingot now. So let's see. Uh, do we have Constantine? We have four ingots of Constantine. Okay. Okay, I got the bronze. Now I just need to make myself the nickel. I thought the items were actually getting consumed, but I think they're just getting chucked into this chest here. Yeah, they're instantly getting uh, took, taken out. So we should have our nickel and then with the Constantine. That should un unlock the entire quest line for making the configurator for the advanced automation. There we go, configurator. So it's two Constantine, two bronze, and a niter dust. That's no problem. I have all that. Right, I really need to start organizing my stuff because I am all over the place looking for things. Right, so we need two bronze, we need two Constantine, and if I find my niter, there we go. Now we can put this in the middle. I think it was nickel. No, that's nickel. I need that there. It's the Constantine, not the nickel. These two here. That'll make our configurator. I don't need to power this, so that's good. So I can knock these things off. And all we have to do now is make logistical transporter. So we need two more Constantine and some Cinnabar. There we go. Four Constantine. Now, if we come over here and grab our Cinnabar, should be some in here. And now we can make ourselves logistical transporters. Uh, just make as many of them as I can. There we go. Now, if we come over here, wait, we need to grab ourselves a barrel or something right here. Put this here and set this guy up to extract. And now, every time this fills up, it'll create a Prismarine. So, we've got automated Prismarine right now. So, this is actually great. So, now, I want to make a heavy sieve. This requires a logistical transporter, so I need more bronze and Constantine. So, I actually need to probably start smelting up a ton of these things now. Right, so, I have now got a block of Constantine, and I've got two blocks of bronze. So, this should be plenty for what we need to do. As soon as it cools down. So I'll get the bronze pumping out. And now let's go back over here and start making this uh, logistical porter thingy. What's it called again? Sorter. So bronze uh, and nickel. So I actually need to go get my bronze, bronzing block now because I can't do anything without it. So let's see if we can make these things now. I need two of them. That's one. That's two. And a heavy sieve requires a sieve, two niter, and four logs. Okay. And generate ourselves a heavy sieve. Perfect. Now I'm just going to yoink a, a flint mesh from there. And we're going to come out over here. And I'm just going to set up the sieve right here. Now we're going to grab our overworld matter. I'm going to put the flint mesh in. And now I need to go back over here and craft it into compressed uh, overworld matter. Okay. So we're, there we go. We got eight regular. So let's actually crush up the eight regular ones right here. And see what we get. Silicon, redstone, aluminium. Looks like we just got a bit of lapis there and some lead. And I think we've got everything from it. Perfect. So let's go over here and sieve all seven of these compressed ones. So if we just sort our inventory, we can see we got aluminium, we got iron, we got lead, uh, more lead, we got silicon, coal, and all the other stuff. Perfect. We've just completed a ton of quests. So if we go up here, collect them all, how many uh, do we have? 20. Nice. Right, so how much this we made? We've made 31. Right, what I want to do is I want to melt down uh, this iron I have and go over and collect some of that gold so I can start making a cask. Because if I can upgrade my pickaxe to a better pickaxe, to at least an iron, I think I need an iron to mine that gold. So if I just get my flint and repair my pickaxe quickly and my sword. There we go. And I'm just going to grab a bit of this. Go to the part builder and oh, where's all my stencils gone? Oh, they must have fallen out when I was uh, moving the thing. All right, so put them in here, grab a pickaxe and I need to grab my sand. I left it in the chest over here. So I'll put this here, grab my sand like that. And then the iron is no longer melting because we're out of lava. All right, there we go. Took me forever to find the bucket. But put the lava in here and hope it can finish melting down the iron and you know what while we have the iron going you can actually then pour iron on top of this 
to make it into an iron mesh. That should be the case. Maybe a port in here. Oh yeah, because it requires an entire block of iron. Yeah, it, it's kind of expensive. Oh, uh, we got ourselves an iron pickaxe head now. So, take out everything here. We got ourselves an iron mesh. So we should be able to get a lot more from our overworld matter now. Uh, speaking of which, I do need to make more. Yeah. Right, there we go. Uh, iron pickaxe. So, let's make ourselves a quick boat. Uh, can I make a boat out of driftwood? I can. I, make, I can make myself a driftwood boat. So I'm going to quickly sleep because I know there's probably going to be mobs over there. So, let's go on a quick adventure to get some gold. Right, and we might as well get some bones while we're over there then as well. So let's go. So there's actually a structure underneath it. Did I just get shot at? Uh, what have we got here? Oh, there's a tower over there. Oh, there is a spawner. As well. Of husks. Okay. And sandstone. Wait, there's emeralds? I thought it was meant to be gold. Wait, I thought this was... Oh yeah, I forgot about toxic air. I don't have a way to stop this thing from spawning. I forgot to bring torches with me. I can stand here as long as I don't jump. I thought this was meant to have gold. So maybe we can't uh, make the casts today. But at least we got some emerald. Emerald is good. Alright, so that looks like all we can get here. How many in total did we get? We got four pieces and four blocks. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to go exploring the rest because we're about to run out of time, if not already have. Um, so we'll leave that for another episode, probably when we're more prepared, maybe when we make some armor. Um, but for now... We're going to have to think of a different way. I know we can get gold from saving overworld matter, but I was kind of just hoping that we can actually get gold straight away there. Um, but I guess not. So if we look up gold, how do we get gold? Is it a specific way? How do we get the ore pieces? Okay, so we because we made the iron mesh, we can save the overworld matter and get some gold. All right, that's perfectly fine then. Um, I don't know what happened or I just didn't realize... But my chicken is gone. I was just about to grow some more trees because we need more leaves. But I just looked over and my chicken is gone. What happened? Did he despawn because we went over to the Leviathan? Or did something else happen? Like, did he just die? Because I know he was only on one, hate, one health. But... God, there's no way he should have died. Okay, I, I have no idea. I'm going to have to look back at my recording when I'm editing and seeing what happened to him. That is so strange. Right, we've actually got 64 Prismarine made now. So if we go over here and grab our hammer and use it to break it up, let's see how much we actually get from it. All right, I'm, I'm organizing all this stuff in between episodes. This is getting ridiculous. So we got ourselves seven compressed Prismarine blocks and just two regular so we'll break those two first, and then we'll break these. And we only got 14, but we got plenty of prismarine shards. But to make more lanterns, that is nowhere near enough. So like, sea lantern, yeah, we've only got a max of two. Well, rip. So, uh, I just realized that I'm actually struggling on keeping up my lava production. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to break a block right here. Yeah, I'm actually changing it out to this chisel stuff actually makes it so much harder to break. But if I grab myself a crucible, put it right there. And one of the quests is in here. Uh, not in there. Basic automation is to make this pipe, which is bronze and niter. So if I go make that, we should be able to set up automatic lava production for our smeltery. So we just need a bit of niter and a bit of bronze, I think it said. Or was it Constantine? I can't remember. I think it was bronze. Yep. And a configurator now. And the only thing we need now is a chest and this hopper. So if I grab a barrel instead, come over here, put this guy on top, put the barrel right here. And now all I have to do is put the basic mechanical pipe, set this guy up to extract. Now I'll just empty my inventory and maybe I should put down more of these. 
uh, barrels for now, just to make more storage. I'm going to organize everything now next episode, or before next episode. So if we come down here and grab some cobblestone, plenty of cobblestone, uh, use it all up to make lava, why not? And just go over here and put it inside this barrel. And now we'll just generate up all of what we want. 360 overworld matter blocks right now. That is actually insane. So, I'm going to let all of this get produced. We actually need to put some torches back over there, but I think that's pretty much it for this episode. So we've got overworld matter going. We've got ourselves a productive uh, smeltery, automated sm smeltery. We got a heavy sieve, and we went and explored our Leviathan, which turned out to be pretty much of a bust. So, that's fun. So next episode, we are going to continue our quest by using this overworld matter and try and work on maybe trying to get some power going for some auto saving. And if possible, we'll try and complete uh, the nether section. Uh, well, I don't mean like complete nether section. I mean like try and work on some nether auto saving with nether rack and soul sand and all that. And then even maybe start production on slime to try and get our uh, refined storage system going soon. So I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I hope to see you all in the next episode. So without further ado, goodbye.